Hi, I'm Jan Gorenson, and this is my husband, Rob Johansson. We're at Gorenson Farm in Dresden, Maine. It's in the mid-coast region of Maine. We are on a farm that I grew up on about 35 years ago. My parents bought it and farmed primarily potatoes. In 1985, I started farming with my father. And since then, we've um, turned this farm into a diversified vegetable operation. We have 36 total tillable acres, of which uh, eight acres is now in potatoes, six in sweet corn, and 10 in diversified small crops. We have 12 acres of that is in rotations with cover crops and green manures. The markets that we currently have are farm stands and farmers markets. We go to four different farmers markets throughout the summer and we have a few wholesale accounts. The farm stand brings in the bulk of our income, about 48 uh, percent. The farmers markets bring in 36 percent of the farm income and the balance 16 percent is wholesale. Uh, one of the innovations that we've brought to the farm has been a community supported agriculture program which uh, we started some five years ago now. We currently have 175 families in the summer program. Our community supported agriculture program is set up a little different than a traditional one in that uh, people pay up front but for paying up front they get a discount. So they can use that credit at the farm or at any of the locations off the farm where we're selling. Uh, which we've tried to make it as easy as, and as inclusive as possible to try to get as many people you know, involved and interested in what we're doing. We also do a winter share program uh, that is uh, set up in a very traditional manner. They come once a month for a box of vegetables, storage vegetables. The retention rate in our CSA has been high. We did make a change a year ago where if people had a credit left on their CSA account with the farm, we would roll it toward the next season. But what we changed was that they would have to use everything they paid for in the spring that year. And so people in November, October, November, get a postcard from the farm saying, you have this amount left on your account. Um, if you don't use it, by the end of December, then it will be gone. And so it encourages people to come in at the end of the year, buy that quart of maple syrup, or pick up some extra squash and potatoes for the winter. The keys to our marketing success are quality, variety, and listening to our customers. They give us the feedback that's required to know what they want and how they want it, and we're very attuned to that. One of the things that we found that helps uh, pull this all off is that we've divided the roles. Uh, Jan pretty much uh, uh, takes care of the marketing aspect of the farm and I pretty much take care of the production end of it. Of course we're always talking with each other about the, the whole so there's a lot of cooperation discussion that goes on between us.